Okay, we continue spline menu and reach to set point value. The set point value is main purpose is for polygon modeling, but we can do some interesting things in spline. I will explain all of the settings in a polygon modeling, but here I draw a simple spline here in 3D mode. For example, add some point there. Like this. As you can see, we draw a <coughs> curve on a 3D. Uh, draw another spline to explain something for you. Make it from here and editable. The first thing that I want to mention you when you're going to the uh, move tool and double click any point. The window will be pop up that called values and a tangent. You can change the values X, Y, and Z position from the center of the object. For example, this X position in, in X axis is 200, negative 200 centimeter from its object center. If you hit zero, it will be a snap to the center of the object. So double click on any point on a spline, this will be the pop up and you can X and Y and Z, you can change its position and we have a tangent. As you can see, we have a tangent at this point in direction of the Z axis, as you can see, we have the Z length. You can change the length of this uh, tangent. For example, in this direction, we have a longer tangent. Or if you change the tangent and you want to make it in any direction for example in direction you can set all of the numbers in x y z zero just set it at the x if you want to equal the lengths you can double click and equal those number here is negative for example 50 and 50 and hit okay as you can see we have a equal tangent here so with double click, you can change the position and the tangent of the splines. For example, double click. And for example, going to this hard angle, and we have zero, zero, because it is not tangent. You can make a number here to add a tangent to that. Okay. Another thing that's interesting in a spline point is a spline in a move set point value. For example, I want to those numbers, I want to change its y axis and align them to the y axis to snap to the y axis. Select them, right click, and set point value. In the settings, I will be explaining all of those settings in the polygon modeling, but you just work with here. The y-axis, find the which axis that you want to align your point. I want to align them in the y-axis. Leave means leave the position of the point as there is. But you can set it. I will explain all of them. Don't worry. Set, set. You set this box will be active and you can set the value. For example, value of set centi uh, the zero centimeter means they are snapped to the Y axis in a zero. Apply it, as you can see, all of that point snap to uh, Z axis, uh, Y axis is zero. You, for example, 10 centimeter, as you can see, they're going 10 centimeter high from the zero of Y axis. Or if you want to select all or control A, control A to select all points, and set all of them, for example, zero, set in a Y, apply. All of them snap to the, oh, I accidentally set Z, set the Z uh, parameter leave, it's leave as it is, and just Y, set zero, as you can see, all of the points going down and snap to its Y axis because they are zero. Okay, just, Use the set for your point that you want to change its position and hit apply. I explain all of them more in polygon modeling. It's special, this tool is special and uh, for and, or main purpose of that is for polygon modeling that I will explain you 
in a mesh menu we have all of them here as you can see we have in a mesh modeling the set point value as well okay that's its set point value hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release